Peter Obi criticizes latest petrol price hike, calls it unfortunate, insensitive. See why? My people, my people, of a truth, this way matter will increase so. It should say our leaders, they don't fuck up. Oh. So may we come here with Peter Obi, come talk concerning this way matter. The presidential candidate of the Labour Party in the 2023 general election will be Mr. Peter Obi. He can't express deep concern over the recent surge in the price of petrol across Nigeria. He can't describe the sudden increase as unfortunate and insensitive stressing that it will have their consequences for the nation's economy and the welfare of its citizens. Obi conveyed his thoughts through a statement titled Reversing the Saudi Fuel Price Increase on its s come account on Saturday. The act has already triggered an immediate rise in transportation costs, too, particularly in the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, Abuja, as petrol stations operated by the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, NAPCA, adjusted their pump prices upward. The situation it don't further deepen economic difficulties, as it be say many Nigerians that they struggle to cope with skyrocketing cost of living. That on Wednesday, you see, say the NAPCA can announce an increase in the retail price of petrol to one thousand thirty naira per liter from 897 Naira across multiple stations in the FCT. You see, say this new price come marks the second hike within one month, reflecting a 14.8% increase, amounting to a rise of 1,033 Naira per liter. This development as exacerbated public outrage. As it be say many Nigerians, they can't they question the rationale behind the repeated increases. Obese reaction can't come amid mounting frustration as the surge in fuel prices continue to place an unbearable burden on households and businesses already crumbling with economic challenges. In his statement, Obikon criticized the federal government's handling of economic resources, alighting that the Saudi hike lack sound economic reasoning or compassion. He can't argue that the arbitrary increase can reflect poor governance and it considerates policy making. Obikon emphasized that Nigerians are enduring unprecedented hardship due to misguided policies and the government's failure to offer alternative solutions has only worsened the situation. He can further noted that why the NAPCA that they operate as limited liability company regulated by bodies such as the Nigeria Upstream Petroleum Regulator Commission, will be NUPROC, and the Nigeria Midstream and Downstream Petroleum Regulatory Authority, NMDPROA. There appears to be confusional about the roles and responsibility between these entities. This regulatory abigotic obicon said 
they reflect mismanagement and calls into question the government's commitment to effective oversight. The fuel price hike has drawn sharp criticism from key stakeholders, including labor unions and independent marketers. The Nigerian Labor Congress, NLC, led by President Joe Ajaro, he can't condemn the increase, emphasizing that a private company like NLPCL should not have the authority to detect fair prices for Nigeria. You see, said the Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria, IPMAN, can also express dissatisfaction with the new prices. On Thursday, IPMAN can warn that it might out operations nationwide due to the rising cost of premium motor spirits, PMS, popularly known as petrol. You see, said the group can reveal that NLPCL sold petrol to its members at 1,010 naira per liter in Lagos, a significant makeup from the 898 naira per liter price at the Dangote Petroleum Refinery. IPMAN can argue that such a pricing structure is unsustainable and threatens the viability of independent marketers. So, the association, the can call on the government to intervene and ensure a fair pricing system that would allow marketers to remain in business without passing excessive costs to consumers. So my people, my people, of a true to, you see, said the escalative fair prices, it does spark widespread concern about citizens, businesses, and policy makers with transportation costs rising sharply and inflationary pressures mounting. The need for decisive government action has become more urgent. Peter Obi's statement can reflect a growing sentiment that the government must adopt more compassionate economic policies that prioritized the welfare of the people. Obi's call for accountability can resonate with the frustration of many Nigerians who are demanding transparency and better management of national resources. As the economic hardship deepens, so, the pressure on the government to reverse the price increase and explore alternative solutions continue to mantle. Ultimately, obese message concerns as a reminder that leadership must be responsive to the needs of the people. Is appeal for a new and more compassionate Nigeria can underscores the importance of governance rooted in empathy and sound economic principles. As the public awaits the government's next step, many that they hope that their leaders will act swiftly to alleviate the burden of rising fuel prices and restore confidence in the nation's economic future. My people, of a true to the government, he need to take decision where be say he go make things easy for Nigeria. So, so my people, my people, the matter not pass like this. So, I end them up here. I better make on a feel free to subscribe to Bleach Channel. Thank you.